to make sure it's nice and clean. So hopefully we won't have to polish it. And this was finished very, uh, very well. So there's no like heavy scratches in the blend panels. So that's one of the reasons why I'm not going to use a wet bed because I don't really need it. If, uh, if the panel was a little bit more rough, then I would probably use a wet bed just to uh, soften up those scratches. So I'm using a uh, base coat, uh, Tecna base coat. I'm using a Tecna base coat. I really like this gun. I'm enjoying it very, very, very much. You can set the the, um, the air pressure here. You can set it at 17 if you want for your regular coat, and then you bring it right down to uh, 15 for your drop coat. So first coat, I want to try to stay away from here. So I want to go that way. But also you don't want to. But also you don't want to fill this with overspray. So you want to make sure you let go of the trigger as soon as you get there. So it's okay that you can see right through it on the first coat. That's what you're looking for. Because if you put too much, too fast, you're gonna run into problems. try to cover it as you can see um, I want to go all the way to the top just to make sure that it's uniform and here when it comes to the bottom I'm gonna spread it out more and I'm gonna get some coverage on there so I can lose that color and there won't be like a sharp line That way we don't get any sand piling. You just gotta make sure your base is dry. So I I was blowing this for about a minute. This blend here was cutting it close. I would have I would have gone into the quarter panel, but that wasn't an option with this one. So I'm gonna put another uh, medium wet coat. I'm gonna put it out a little bit more that way. So trying to make it even so we don't have any modeling or anything like that. So we'll see how this lays down. If it looks good, then we'll go ahead and put a control code. If not, we're gonna have to play with it a little more. So it looks pretty good. I'm gonna tack it one, more, one last time before I put my control code on. And uh, we'll hope for the best.
I'm not pushing very hard on the tack cloth. I'm kind of just letting it glide, just putting a tiny little bit of pressure, but you don't want to put too much pressure or else you, uh, you're you going to create problems. But just from that door, you see it. You can see all around here. This was a brand new tack cloth. So all of that could have been on your panel and your clear would have settled on top of that and they will look like little bumps and that's called sand piling. So to avoid that, that's why I tack. See, there won't be, there, there, that sand piling won't be around here because you directly put the base on there. But where the base lands, it just sits on top. bring it down to a 14 and a half and I want to stay quite away and I'm probably gonna, I'm gonna do a double drop coat so I'm gonna go up and then down The release of the trigger is so key because that's gonna stop the overspray here, that's gonna stop the overspray there. So the release of the trigger is so key. So you get that nice transition here that you can see it. So you got full color, full color, and then it slowly fades away. And like I said, this is cutting it close. Should have blended, but this is the way that this just had to be done. So, and we're gonna go ahead and flash it off and then we'll clear it. Pretty good. Okay, here we go. Second go to clear. Watch my feet how I'm doing it. That way you can stay consistent. Looks good. I like it. Very happy with it. So there you have it. Looks pretty good. Very happy with it. Like I said, I would give myself a lot more room to blend, but this particular job wasn't possible, but it looks great.